In this demonstration, I'll show you how we can deploy both our library as well as the web part to the SharePoint tenant online. So you can notice here I'm inside my new my new custom library project folder. And first I need to run my gulp utility to bundle this. So I'm going to say gulp bundle a ship. And then the next command has to be the package solution. That's been done. So I'm going to say gulp package solution and then ship again. So now we will be getting the package file and that package file we need to deploy to the tenant side. So first of all, let me take you to my Windows Explorer. So it's in my D drive in the SPFX demos, my new custom library, and then SharePoint solution. We have our SPP KG file. So now what we are going to do, let me take you to my SharePoint admin center. So this is my admin center and this is the site collection where we would like to test this. And obviously this is my app catalog that we have created in the very beginning of this course. In fact, when you are inside the SharePoint admin center, when you click on sites and when you go to active sites, you will see your different site collections you have as well as the app catalog. So when I click on my my new app catalog, I'm pretty much here. And when I click on my SPFX demos, I'm pretty much here. So first, once you are inside the app catalog, when you click on the apps for SharePoint, and this is the place where you need to drag that <coughs> my new custom library SPPKG file to deploy this. So now it is going to ask you, would you like to make the solution available to all sites? Yes. And then deploy. So now the library is now being deployed with no errors to the tenant site. Now the next step for us is obviously to get ready with our SPFX web part and deploy that here as well. So for that, let's go to the Node.js command prompt. This is your test my new custom library project. So there's one thing that you need to do before we build and then uh, deploy this web part. If you can notice in the package.json of your web part, there is something like dependencies. So here I'm going to say I have another dependency which is my new custom library. So I'm going to say my new custom library. And obviously the, the version is 0 0.0.1. .0 so just to verify the name and version, yes, if we can go back to the, the, the library that we have created earlier. And then when we go into the package.json, you can see the library name is my new custom library and the version number is so and so. So this is what has been deployed to the tenant side so far. So that means in the package.json, we have added our my new custom library as a dependency. Perfect. So let's save our files and uh, go back to the Node.js command prompt. This is your web part folder. So I'm going to say gulp bundle ship. Once this is done, we'll try to package the solution as well. So that's been done. So now I'm going to say gulp package solution with the ship command. So now what we will do, we'll simply go back to the our file explorer. And this time I need to go into my test my new custom library project. And then in the SharePoint solution, we have our SPPKG file. So now what we're going to do, we're going to the same app catalog one more time. And we're going to drag this package file here. Let me do that again. I 
Okay, perfect. So let me drag this file and drop here. So at this point of time, yes, we'll we'll check this. We have the web part as well as the library with no errors in our app catalog. So what's the next step then? We want to test this. So let's go back to the one of the site collection that we have and then go to the pages. And we can create a new page for testing. It's site page. And we're going to simply add our web part. So I click on add web part. And um, what's your web part? It is test my new custom library is the new web part that we have just added to the app catalog. So simply click on this one. So as soon as this is done, you can notice calling that library function. And then you can see the today's date as well as the current time. So this is how we are now able to test our web part that is basically calling some functions of the library inside our SharePoint online tenant site. In fact, we have seen the same output when we try to test this on the local server. So that is how in this demonstration I've shown you how we can create a library and uh, write some functions in the library class and then how we can refer to that library from the web part. The most crucial things are obviously for testing on the local system is the npm link and also the creation of the npm link library command which basically creates a symbolic link.